Well, I'm down here at the AT&T Center just kind of soaking in, well, the calm before the storm because tomorrow night's going to be anything but calm. All right, guys, since I made them do the push-ups, I'll be out here all night rooting for the real team, Fox 29. That's how you do it in 2008. Are you Irish? A little bit, slightly. Slightly. Could you give me your best impersonation of an Irish accent? No. It's probably not that. Oi, mighty. As good as I can get. I had a rough day today. Really? Got a massage, ate some ice cream. Just a normal day. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, pretty that's much good. every day yeah. with me. Maybe. Whoa! <laughs> wow, an actual pirate. So when you come down to the rodeo, make sure you eat, eat, and eat. Don't come to the rodeo to lose weight. Anybody have any tums anywhere? Taking to the streets, these kids from Frederick Douglass Academy are letting everyone know. I am the street! I am the street! I am the street! Hey! Why don't you do drugs? Because <laughs> we're little! Because we're little! <laughs> That's not a good reason! You should never do drugs! Are you drug free? Yes. Why? Because I don't drink drugs. You don't drink drugs. <laughs> That's a good thing. More than 400 students got dressed up for this drug-free march. Now, what are you supposed to be? A Chinese girl. girl. Superman. A vampire. Skeleton. Guess what I am? What are you? Uh, I'm a Power Ranger. Wait, let me see your Mighty Morphin moves. Whoa, whoa, stand down. Wow. I don't want you to get arrested. That is some nice moves. We have a great group of kids, and they're just sending a message out there for that Dutch Academy is drug free. But some of the helpers I wasn't too sure about. I've heard of a bag lady before, but you are a balloon lady. What, do you, what is this get up, and how'd you make this? I just thought it, I don't know. I just didn't have nothing else to wear. They say you're full of hot air. <laughs> Ahoy, matey. Swab the deck. Shiver me timbers. Ye be walking the plank. Yep, these kids were cheering each other on to stay drug free. Say no to drugs! Say no to drugs! Say no to drugs! We want to take that message in the community too. So the people that live around here, they know that we want our kids safe. Watch out. You like that? Did I seem intimidating? No, not at all. I'm working on it. It's a class where overcoming adversity is as easy as riding a bike. There you go. Now we're picking up pace. When we can get a child to ride a bike, we have brought that child up into the mainstream. And that child knows they've done it. And that child will just absolutely blossom. And that's exactly what the Kersey family is hoping. Traveling all the way from Boston just for this class. Their biggest hope is to see their nine-year-old daughter, Kayleen, ride a bike without training wheels. She's starting to get teased, you know, by the neighborhood kids who can ride without them. And we did try all last year, um, and we just weren't able to do that successfully. And that's why they've come to the Kinetic Kids Bike Camp, where kids with special needs ride beside a counselor for an hour and 15 minutes a day. For this to come and uh, teach a child in five days, it is just am amazing to, to see that much progress and that much success and, you know, the joy that this brings to all the, the whole family. Riding on roller bikes invented by Dr. Richard Klein, these kids are able to get the feeling of what a two-wheel bike feels like. What is it like when you're on a bike? Um, scary. Why is it scary? Because it feels like you can tip over easily. But for the first time in her life, and just three days into the week, Kayleen overcame that fear, making the trip to San Antonio worth it. She's doing what we tried to do for two years, so, I mean... As you can see, I'm all swelled up, but it's incredible. 